So now we're going to talk about reversed. Reversed is simple, uh, has a very simple purpose, but there's a bit of a gotcha with it. So let's go ahead and make a numeric list. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And want to actually make this a list. And then I'll just put commas in between. So we've got a list of nums. Now, if uh, you know this is already sorted, so we won't think about that. Um, let's go ahead and print the reversed version of this num list. Now, we would expect to just get nine eight seven six five four three two one, but what we actually get is this indication that we have a reverse iterator object. Now, uh, what this object is used for is for reverse traversal of a list. So if we're iterating through this thing, it's more efficient for the for loop if we use reversed than if we do something like this, which this is your solution if you're seeing this. We can just cast the iterator object to a list and then we will see we will see 9876543321 now a second so that's our first gotcha the first gotcha is that the reversed function returns a reverse iterator object it does not return a list so if you want to see it as a list you need to cast it explicitly like i did here on line 5 the second gotcha i'm going to go ahead and put the 5 here in front of the 4 Nine eight seven six four five three two one. This is not a reversed sort. Okay, this is not a reversed sort. This is only a reversal of the list. If you want a reversed sort, what you would do is use the sorted method, and uh, when you call it, so I'm going to call it here on numlist. I'm going to put in a second uh, argument that is reverse gets true. So I'm saying, should it be reversed? Yes, true, it should be reversed. So in this case, it's going to be sorted and reversed, and it's going to be 9876543321.